What makes us so different from other species of animals? Is it our ability to reason, love, or hate? What if we could develop an artificial intelligence capable of replicating such emotions? Would we be able to tell the difference? Today, we're going to be discussing a film that touches on several philosophical ideas of what it means to be human. So join me as we take a closer look at the hidden ideologies of the film Artificial Intelligence. The story takes place in the future, where global warming has destroyed much of the human population, and those who still live have become dependent on robots. Humans have programmed machines with emotions in order to facilitate the labors of their weakened society. However, they could not teach a robot how to love. Unlike any other AI, David was the first robot created with a specific goal, to learn from its environment and evolve. The objective was simple, to make David love and to potentially dream, traits that had not yet been seen in any machine. David was soon adopted by a couple, Monica and Henry, who had a son named Martin who was suffering from an illness and has been comatose for five years. Monica activates a system within David that programs him to love her, but according to the instructions, after activating this mechanism, it could not be reversed. Later in the film, we see Martin returning to his home. Due to his jealousy, he tries to get rid of David, and eventually succeeds. Monica then abandons David in the forest for fear that it could hurt her real son. At this point, David begins his journey in search for a mythical blue fairy, a fairy capable of turning him into a real boy. It's from this moment on we can see how the story takes a darker tone, and we can also see how the character finds himself in so many unexpected conflicts. Thus begins the true story of this film, or rather the symbolism behind it. Maybe by watching this movie, you might think that it's simply about a robot in search of his humanity, but in reality, it's something much deeper. This film is about humanity itself, its fears, its desires, and above all else, its beliefs. As depicted in the film, David was programmed with the ability to love, but as a side effect, it also gave him a host of negative emotions. You cannot love unless you also have the ability to hate. We can see the development of emotions within David such as sadness after being abandoned, jealousy, anger, and eventually depression. We also see how David develops an ego when he thought that he was special. To understand David's role in the film, we must recognize that he represents humanity itself, your desires and fears, plus the ability to adapt fantasies into reality. In him, we can observe how after being abandoned by his own adopted mother, enters into an emotional crisis. To see that which is not real through his own eyes. A magical belief in a blue fairy, a belief that he got from a fantasy book. This is very similar in the human beliefs in deities and gods. Like David, humans often find themselves in impossible situations, seeking the help of something that could very well be magical. We see how David begins with basic emotions, when he develops love, begins to experience negative emotions, and the fear that makes him believe in a magical solution. After the shock and realizing that he was not unique, he goes on to destroy those who are similar to him. We could say that by default, human beings believe to be unique and special, but when faced with others and realize that they are not so special, this could lead to violent confrontations. We then see David, after believing he lost his purpose in life, trying to commit suicide, and thus completing the majority of the human emotions. David spends 2,000 years begging the Blue Fairy to make him into a real boy, but this never happens. After all this time, other beings came to Earth, and they granted David's wish. But what does it all mean, the 2,000 year time frame, and how does it relate to religion? David's belief in the Blue Fairy is a direct reference to the belief of humans in God. David spent 2,000 years begging this fairy to answer his prayers, but it never did. The film was released in 2001, 
the fact that in the film 2,000 years passed was not a coincidence. As we know that the Judo-Christian religion is based on the belief that Jesus Christ walked the earth 2,000 years ago, if David represents humanity in the film, it could symbolize humanity spending 2,000 years pleading for the intervention of something that might never come. In the moment in which the other beings recover David, he was able to touch the fairy in which it breaks into pieces. But this may be concrete evidence in the symbolism of David's belief being destroyed. Many believe that religion will be destroyed once contact is established with a superior being, an extraterrestrial, and perhaps this could be what the film symbolizes. Also the name David is a biblical name that means the chosen one of God, proof that the religious symbolism is there. Seeing this movie in perspective, we can understand that it's not simply a sci-fi movie but rather an allegory of humanity, its fears and desires, their magical beliefs, the destruction of those beliefs, and above all else, the existential crisis and fear of being alone. Then, with all that has been mentioned above, could be in essence what makes a human being. If we were able to create an artificial intelligence capable of developing positive and negative emotions, as well as magical beliefs and illusions, you could replicate that which makes us human. How much do you believe in the philosophies of this movie? Do you believe that what makes us human is our fears, illusions, as well as our beliefs? And what if we were able to build a robot capable of all these traits? Would it then be real or an artificial consciousness? Thank you all for watching, and remember to like and subscribe. And remember, Assume nothing and question everything.